Hi there, I'm Jackie. Welcome to the wall. So in this video series, I am going to show you how to use the wall to wake up some of your favorite yoga poses. So go find a wall and then meet me right back here. Here we are, back at the wall. Warrior three is what we're gonna play with today. And we're gonna do this mm, a few different ways. So there are, I would say, two or three different ways to use the wall. One is probably the most obvious way, and that is for me to <laughs> turn my back to you, take my hands to the wall, okay? So that I don't have to do that, we're going to pretend that my little um, piece of furniture over here is the wall. And you're going to come to the wall, come forward, bring the hands to the wall. So ideally what you're looking for, and it's awesome if, you know, somehow there's a mirror involved so you can actually see, but um, I'm not sure what the odds are of you having a wall, a mirror, everything all in the same line so that you could actually do that, but just saying. Okay, so you're trying to get as close to an L shape as possible. And then for this, I'm going to start with the right leg moving back. So my left foot grounds down into the floor, low belly in and up. I'm going to push against this wall here, keep this arm strong as this leg works back. All right. So you can use the wall with that push. You can even look back, kind of check out that leg. Make sure that the toes are pointing down, the heel is up. This tells you where your hip is if your leg is rotated in your hip socket and you want it moving straight back and not opening up to the side. So it tends to happen. You can see it if I stick my butt right in your face and take this leg back. This nice neutral hip. If I let it open up, see how my toes went out to the side? That's what you're trying to avoid in your warrior three. Instead of taking it up and then fixing it, I would rather see you start over again, find your good positioning, take it back in the right spot to begin with, see how that feels, bring it down, take it up, bring it down, take it up, bring it down. Notice at what point the hip starts to open. And then when you notice, okay, well, I get to about right here and then it starts to open, then you're going to stay in the range where it doesn't open. And you're going to work there and you're going to get really strong there. And then you're going to let it lift just a little bit higher so that you maintain control. And the whole time, the low belly is pulling in and up. The core is on. Your back muscles are on. That, this whole reach forward is strong. All right. Now, we can reverse this and take your foot to the wall. A couple of different ways to do this. You can use a chair or blocks to make this a little bit easier. And you'll have to play around with just where to place yourself. So because it's going to be difficult for you to see, once again, I'm going to use my handy dandy dry sink as a wall. Okay? So here, obviously, look, I'm way mm, a little too forward. Take it back. You want to be able to press your foot against the wall and lift. So this will take a little trial and error. When you're doing it this way, it's very easy to tell. If that hip is open and your foot is open, remember, you want toes pointing straight down, heel pointing straight up. Now, when you feel like you've gotten the right place, and you get, the hands on the floor is fine, it's just that that's a pretty big hamstring stretch. 
So once you feel like you've gotten a nice alignment, you're going to press down through the standing legs. So this is my right foot on the floor. I'm really pressing down strongly through that right foot. I'm going to press back with my left foot, low belly in and up, start to reach forward. This is a massive work in that standing leg. Okay? I'm going to switch and work it the other way. Same thing, strong press of that standing leg, reaching back into the wall with my extended leg, low belly in and up, and then lift. Try that one, folks. <laughs> You can also play around with the wall to your side, little airplane, just to work balance so that you can really watch the back leg to notice how it hinges, to work on that alignment of the square hips and not letting, not letting the hips open up to the side, which is what most people do. So you can use the wall as balance to work that hinge. It's not a bad idea, <laughs> if it's possible, to instead of having blocks, maybe you have, you're lucky and you can line up to where there's another wall if you're near a corner. When you're doing this one here, if you have a wall to the side that could help you as you're coming up, okay? Play around, use the wall. I want to know what you think of that one where your foot's against the wall and you're working that standing leg from the floor. All right, have fun.